really, really weird mood because I really want to make a video. Uh, it's been a while, but I really don't want to make this video. I mean, I'm tired of just going from work. As you can see, the technology I'm using now is basic. My hard drive is broken, so I don't have the power of editing. I don't have a good camera. Everything I'm doing now is just lackluster. It's not fun, but I haven't made a video in a while. And I do enjoy being creative, even if it's just recording myself talking for a bit. Let me take a pause. Long story short, as I'm sure the title suggests, um, this is an unboxing. I'm probably not going to put it off well. I'm not good at unboxings, but I've recently become interested in a game. And um, I wasn't too interested in it before. But I'm kind of interested in it now, and I don't know why. But uh, Starlink is on all the systems, on Xbox, PlayStation 4, it's on Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch version comes up all. Mm -hmm. Star Fox. Comes with it. Oh, wait. And. Um, I don't know why. I'm trying to get my friends excited about it and they're not excited. Um, basically, let me say this. Starwing. Starwing? Starlink. <laughs> Starlink is to No Man's Sky what Mario Rabbids is to XCOM. Starlink is for a response to No Man's Sky. In the same vein that Splatoon was a response to Call of Duty, um, in terms of it was Nintendo shoot, and I don't mean that Starlink was developed by Nintendo. I don't mean that Starlink was necessarily developed to counter No Man's Sky. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm just trying to give you uh, my thoughts on why I'm so excited about this, uh, and I'm also trying to cover up the fact that I can't open this box. The thing is, because I now and these are very basic technology. Editing is now a nightmare, so I need to do this quick. Okay, so look at that box. Sleep resolution is terrible. I will invest in a new camera one day. I will. Um, I guarantee it. Almost once I've paid off everything else. Okay, so the box looks nice. Um, it is a very nice box. I do like nice boxes. The thing is, even though you rip them up and destroy them, nowadays I get rid of all my boxes because I've just got too much. I've got my Breath of the Wild Special Edition box, I've got my, my Leatherverse box, I've got my Dragon Ball Fighters box all back there, and it's just a bit much. But anyway, Starlink, Battle for Atlas, or Battle, it's all about the Annunciation people. Alright, so, um, how do I do this? Do I put the camera down? Got it. What is in the box? Just dropping everything in my room. There we go. Do you know what? This isn't working. That's our box. We don't need it. This is what we came for, right? This is what we came for. Now, obviously you've got the game itself, which looks great. Uh, I like the cover, very nicely detailed. It looks quite mature for a Switch game, as far as I'm concerned, but you know. Do you know what I'm very proud of? I'm very proud of the fact that I'm doing an unboxing, and my nails are cut very nicely. Um, you know, I've seen too many unboxings on YouTube where people's nails are just filth. Hygiene is very important. Alright, so this is a poster. Um, I assume you want to see it. So let me open it up. This tells you all the silent figures you currently do or do not have. Okay? Starlink, Battle for Atlas, all the characters you've got Fox there, which we will be using. And a little poster here. If you're into posters and that, you know, so you've got Fox, you've got Random Guy, you've got Attracted by Racial Woman, and you've got Young Guy who wants to save the world but is probably clumsy. And that is how I'm naming these characters, because clearly I don't actually know their names. I didn't even fold this up the right way. Guys, it's been so long. It's It's been so long, but I haven't made a video. You know, we'll fold that later. We'll, we'll just fold that later. Alright, so, right here is Fox. Fox McCloud. Now, obviously, again, the quality is terrible. I do, I do apologise, guys. I do apologise. But that's one character. So you've got Fox. Uh, this version comes with Mason as well. I think the normal ba version only comes with one figure. This one comes with two. You've also got your weapons, little gun thing here. 
obviously if anyone who didn't know this is part of a Toys to Life range um, which is things like Skylanders, things like Disney Infinity um, where you combine actual physical figures to, you know, into the game wreak some havoc it's just so if I don't break anything it's the last time I built a Gundam I took it out of the packaging so bad that I kind of broke it uh, yes, I have built a Gundam Okay. This is a weapon, I believe. It's got an ice emblem, so it shoots ice or something. Anyway, notice I got all the boring bits out of the way first. Now, this is an important thing. You've got your controller now. Ta da! I should have got this yesterday, but um, Mr. Postman didn't arrive. Okay. Now that's, that's the view right there, that is the R-Wing from Star Fox, uh, which you get to play with in this game, and because of that, this almost in many ways feels like the, uh, clip this in, that's it, your joy button is obviously going to go there, and your figure is there. So, when you're ready to go, you strap everything on. I don't know. Right? So, that is Fox. Mr. Fox. And, um, it's so awkward where I've got this camera positioned. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it. And you uh, lock it in. If you bought Starlink, if you're gonna buy Starlink, what system you bought it on, if you've played it, if you enjoyed it, if you haven't played it, if you hope you'll enjoy it. I don't know. But anyway, guys, stay winning, stay kid, and let me introduce you to my motto. I'm a big kid today, and I'll be a big kid tomorrow. Go.